Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Amelia and Jen here again. So we just finished the last video and we were just having so much fun. We did um, a long time inside line. And so I wanted to show you the transition into supine and being able to do the jiggle in supine. Now you could always have your client on the balanced body wedge that fits in the headrest, which is great. But if you're only gonna be here for less than five minutes, it is safe for your pregnant client if she doesn't have any other contraindications going on, right? And she's able to go to her doctor and have a pelvic exam and be on her back, um, then it is safe for her for three, four, maximum five minutes to be on the back. But of course, she also, when she gets on her back, if she has trouble breathing, if she's uncomfortable, then you do want to change positions. All right, so Amelia is going to slowly guide herself using her legs, feet, hands onto her back, trying to use as little abdominal engagement to find that positioning. And then her feet are going to be up onto the bar. Ideally, she's going to be closer to the balls of her feet, toes, and she can go as wide as she wants. Probably the wider for her stage is going to be nice. And then she'll press out to straight leg. And like we did in sideline, she can do that little bob of the ankles up and down. It's also really good for the pregnant feet and ankles here. Yeah, having that, that kind of drop underneath the, the foot bar. And then what's also really nice is to take one knee into her chest and she can hold behind the thigh and kind of bring the knee towards the armpit to get out of the way of the belly and then doing that little jiggle here. This is also, you know, here we are again with this open hip extension position, which is very hard for our pregnant clients and then our early post-pregnant clients to find. This is an uh, opening, a widening at the top of the pelvis that we're finding here. And this, in this position is also, you know, if we had the bar up a little bit higher, it might even be a greater psoas release. But this is messaging the psoas to release into the back of her abdominal cavity. And Amelia, you can change sides. Good. And then as she does the shaking, or you know, she's doing this consecutive days, um, she can notice, like, is the bottom of my rib cage getting closer and closer to the mat? Right? Am I opening and I dropping in that thoracolumbar um, junction at the bottom of my rib cage and my lumbar spine? And that's also a sign that your psoas is, is releasing and dropping. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.